Sorry, I had to delete something so that I could finish what I was saying. I've been hit by remote neural monitoring for the past six, seven months. I moved, now I get it here. Yesterday, when I woke up, I said, son of a bitch. I heard, he knows. Somebody said, fuck him. My phones are hacked. They're tapped. It goes against Maryland's wiretapping laws. It's an internet crime and a telephone crime if you're not a party to the conversation with consent from all parties. I'm willing to take a polygraph test because if they have frequencies that can give you heart attack like symptoms or a heart attack or a stroke, who's to say that that didn't stop my wife's heart? I mean, to die five months to the day after I had a stroke and a seizure at the same time at 1.30 in the morning, both stroke and seizure, my eyes were rolling back got an ambulance went to the hospital for a couple of days, well, for a week she died five months to the day later the clock stopped at 1.40 a.m. Her heart had stopped. Seems a little odd that that would happen, you know, five months to the day later. Doesn't make that much sense, you know, it's a, it's a little off. Now, when I went to the doctors, you know, I had a doctor appointment to meet this doctor. He told me to do some counting and some other stuff, and I couldn't keep up. He asked me if I had brain trauma from some kind of accident. I told him no. Other than, you know, being knocked unconscious from remote neural monitoring and falling down a flight of steps about a half a dozen times or more. Other than that, I have PTSD, anxiety, and long-lasting bereavement. Because my wife was able to get a paramedic for me, I was unable to do the same for her. So I carried that guilt. Until I started going to church. And reading my Bible. Now, my attic is not that big, and you cannot access it from my apartment. But yet, somebody has accessed it, and there is a frequency device, maybe an EMF generator, and someone else has a neural monitoring device. They're all crimes against humanity, human rights, civil violations, civil laws, state laws, federal laws, and it's a RICO crime. And under 18 U.S. 241, it's a 10-year felony, $10,000 fine. Under 242, it's a 10-year felony, $10,000 fine. Probably lose your job. Under the color of law deprived of your rights I'm sick and tired three times yesterday 
in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Knocked unconscious. Three times. I took this apartment because of this. No neighbors. Just be below me. And then that way. Landlord is that way. Neighbors below me. High EMF gives me the greatest headache ever. And frequencies. Being hit with frequencies stops your heart, gives you rapid heartbeat, could give you stroke, could give you seizure, could stop your heart. Also can give you a nasty headache. Now, this is May, right? Yeah, May 2019, and this is still going on. And it shouldn't be. Followed and stalked in the community. The whole nine. I'm tired of being hit by EMF. I'm tired of being hit with frequency. And I'm tired of being hit with remote neural monitoring. For which causes loss of memory, brain trauma, and some other shit. I've, I've had entry exit while me and my daughter sleep while we're not here. Stuff missing. I'm fed up. Over the top fed up. I've been looking for a lawyer. I mean, I'm willing to take a polygraph test in Senate, Congress, Supreme Court. I'm willing to fill out an affidavit of truth. It's not funny to be knocked unconscious and to wake up hours later only to realize that your day has been taken away. Or, if you're knocked out and you're smoking something like this, and it's 